So here's just the blank start page for the uh, valve interface. I found it easier when I was searching for possible inflation deflation events to start with the seismic data. So you click this little thing here, and you can choose which station you want to search for. And I'm going to use station STC and the short period data from that station. I'm going to leave everything else over here alone. Um, to make the exact plot that I, that I made, um, these are the time periods. It starts from 2009, um, March 17th, and I ended on 2009, March 23rd. Then I click Submit, and a little plot pops up. The x-axis of this plot is days, um, and HST stands for Hawaii Standard Time. It doesn't say what year, uh, but we know what year it is because we typed 2009 in right here. Um, and then over here is, is basically a sort of arbitrary amplitude scale. So what this plot is showing you is um, recordings of the background seismic amplitude. So this is different from a normal seismogram where you would actually see waveforms of individual events. This is just kind of telling you what the background level of chatter is. You can think of it that way. So the background level is basically like nothing. Um, and then there's the occasional big excursion, but that's probably, it could be anything, cultural noise or a sudden windstorm or a helicopter landing nearby, things like that. Um, and you can ignore those because they don't really have anything to do with the volcano. When you see a, a sustained higher amplitude thing in the data, then you might start to think that something actually is going on with the volcano. And so it's a good idea maybe to n narrow in on this little event and then check the tilt data and the GPS data to see if there is a real event happening there, recorded by those instruments too.